Bhagavatam, Canto 7, Chapter 12, Text Number 17. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yaman Muni Sum Sum Summatan Yaman Summatan Yan Astaya Muni Gachat Yan Astaya Muni Gachat Rishi Lokam Oha O Ohan Chasa Rishi Lokam Ohan Chasa Vana prastasya vakshyami Vana prastasya vakshyami Niyaman muni samatan Niyaman muni samatan Yan astaya muni irgachet Yan astaya muni irgachet Rishi lokam Ahanjasa Rishi lokam ahanjasa Vana prastasya vakshyami Vana prastasya vakshyami Niyaman muni samatan Niyaman muni samatan Yan astaya muni gachat Yan astaya muni gachat Rishi lokam ahanjasa Rishi lokam ahanjasa
या स्थापित कर दे या स्थापित कर दे मोहिए सारे व्यक्ति बचे बचे पूर्ण कर दिया जाता है ऋषि लोकन ऋषि लोकन ऋषियों ऋषियों मुनियों वाले लोग मुनियों वाले लोग महान लोग महान लोग उहा उहा ये आधा ये आधा अंजसा अंजसा बिना कठिनाई के बिना कठिनाई के अनुवाद करता है इस विषय को समझने के लिए अनुवाद फिर आधा और मैं वहाँ प्रस्तुत की वहाँ का वर्णन करने जो कि परिवारी जीवन के लिए परिवार जीवन से विरल भी हैं वहाँ प्रस्तुत के विधि विधानों का अनुवाद करने का लोग करते हुए वह महत्व नामक उच्च स्तर लोगों को सरलता से चला जाता है यह को है न परपूर्ण न कृष्टा पच्चमास्नियां न कृष्टम चापितानुधा अभी पक्कमुधा वा अर्पक अर्पकत्वामुधा है वानप्रसाद बिताने वाले व्यक्ति की जूसी हुई जमीन में उगा आना नहीं आना चाहिए उसे बिना जूसी जमीन में उगे उन आनों को भी नहीं खाना चाहिए जो पूरी तरह पके न हो नहीं वाटर को अग्नि में पकाया न खाना चाहिए निशंदेह जो पूरी तरह पके न हो नहीं वाटर को अग्नि से पकाना खाना चाहिए निशंदेह उसे सूर्य प्रकाश में पक्ष भर भी खाने चाहिए वन्यस चारुपा पुरुषासन निर्वा निर्वो निर्वो पेड़ कारण चोदिता लब्धि नवे नवे नामिते पुराणां च परिप्रजे वान प्रस्तुत चाहिए कि जनरल में अपने आप उन्हें भरोसा का अनुसी तरह चले पुरुषास को यज्ञ में डाले जब उसे थोड़ा सा नया अन्न प्राप्त हो जाए तो अन्न के पुराने संग्रह को क्या दें? अग्न्यार्थमेव सरणं युष्ट उज्ज्वलं वात्रिकं ग्राम सायेता दीवाप्यग्नि वर्षार्गातः पश्चात्सयम् वानप्रस्तुत चाहिए कि केवल पवित्र अग्नि को रखने के लिए ही हो या तो भूल की झोपड़ी बनाए या केवल प्रस्तुत की कंधनाओं की में शरण ले तो वास्तविक मुफ्त प्रबंधन अग्नि वाशक तस्वीर के आपको सांप करने का अभ्यास करें कि शरोमा नकारस्मरु मरानी चकिलों धर कमंडला वजीदे धरना वर्कला अग्नि परी छना वहाँ पर सब चाहिए कि सिर पर जटार दें और अपने शरीर को बाल ना पुरो तो मुझे बढ़ने दें वो अपने शरीर की धूलि साफ न करे वो कमंडल ब्रिग छाला था दर्द धारण कर करे पीड़ की छाला का आवरण पाने और अग्नि जैसे देखो उसको मत करे शहरे द्वारे बाद शाम ना नष्टोवा चतुर्मणि द्वावितम् वा यथाबुद्धिर ना विपद येता इच्छा अत्यधिक विचार विचार वा भने के कारण वान प्रस्तुत को बारह वर्ष आठ वर्ष चार वर्ष दो वर्ष या कम से कम एक वर्ष तक जाना भी रहना चाहिए उसे इस तरह रहना चाहिए कि वो अत्यधिक परिश्रमी काम निचली या स्थानीय न हो दे यदा कब स्वप्रियायम यदि निर्जाया व्यवहार आमिचा विक्षमाम विद्यायम पुरियादना सन्नायकम जब वो रो क्या दृढ़ अवस्था के कारण अध्यापित चेतना की प्रगति करने या बीत अध्ययन करना समर्थ हो जाए तब उसे अपना न खाने को दर्द देना चाहिए आत्मा ज्ञान ही समरोपियों सन्यासिया हम मोहन मोहन कार्यशूल जैसे सम्यक संगातम तू ये था रहता उसे चाहिए कि अभियोग को अपने में आत्मा में भरीभांति रखने और इस तरह शरीर महत्व को छोड़ दे जिसके कारण वो शरीर को निजी या आत्मा मानता है वो धीरे-धीरे भौतिक शरीर को पांच तत्वों पर दी जाए अपनी वायु आकाश में जीवित करने अर्थात् शरीर को भी 
पांचवें तत्व तो पृथ्वी जल अग्नि वायु तथा आकाश कारण है और शरीर कार्य है जिससे शब्द में मनुष्य को अच्छी तरह से जानने का कार्य किया था शरीर पांच तत्वों के सहयोग के अतिरिक्त कुछ नहीं है भौतिक शरीर के पांच तत्वों का यह आदर्भ नहीं ज्ञान है पूर्ण ज्ञान में ब्रह्म में आदर्भ में प्राप्त है परिभांति के बाद समझ लेना कि मनुष्य शरीर नहीं अपितु आत्मा है ओम ज्ञान तिमरंदस्य ज्ञानंजना शवाकाय चक्षुर्मलितंदिना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोपिष्टे स्वयंपाति स्वादेह श्रीगुरो श्रीयतापदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णव श्रीरूपात सहगना सजीव सिंधु जगतपते गौपेश गौपिका नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरंगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय पंचगौपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु बाये बचा पति नाम भवान्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधा श्री वसदी गो भक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे सुन राधे मणि इज डिस्क्राइबिंग टू युधिष्ठिर महाराज बट duties in the different ashrams so now we are going to talk about the idea ki alag alag ashram ko kab tak divide na so we are we had this morning several verses describing duty of one who is in the vana prastha stage of life rajan alag alag dress ko 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 ye sab ma vana prastha ko lagi kartavya ko batai ke kaari hai of course As they are described here in Shrimad Bhagavatam, Narada Muni is describing the the the, 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 the classical system of Varnashram, not something which we can practice in this age. When you are not so good, you are not in the army. If you visit the Garden of Innovation, you are able to see the reality of the world. Yes. Had the description, you know. First of all, you know, go, going to the forest and then not cutting the hair, not cutting the nails, and all of these things. Eating only fruit, not eating anything but fruit. And just to get people to go for one day without eating grains is a very big thing for people. There are many people who cannot live if they don't get rice in that one day, one meal in a day without rice. Wow, oh, the very great austerity for them. They find great trouble. But Vanaprastha is a part of the order of progression in spiritual realization. Right. The, 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 the scriptures say, "Pancha sorvam vanam vrajet," means 
from the age of 50, one should go to live in the forest. Meaning, one should accept the Vanaprastha life, one should leave the householder life and enter into the Vanaprastha life, the next stage. But uh, Prabhupada explains that in this age, we cannot expect people to go and live in the forest. Maybe in Burma, you can go and live in the forest. Are there many people living in the forest in Burma? No, no. They, they, they make a village, right? They make villages everywhere. People go and live in a village, but they don't go and live in the forest. So Prabhupada said, anyway, they have to leave the Grihastha ashram and enter into the next ashram, Vanaprastha, where they cultivate detachment from the home. The purpose of the Vanaprastha life is to get detached from the home and from the family. When people are young, they get married, they have a family. And, and when you get married and have a family, then we become very attached to this situation. So it's necessary to prepare ourselves for the next life. And preparation for the next life is to become detached from the family situation. Because we spend so many years with the family, we get very attached. So it takes also many years to get detached, to forget about them. When you get 50, then you're already old man. Right, you have to, we have to prepare for death. We have to prepare for the next life. If we, if the time of death, we're only thinking of the family, you'll come back again in the same family. But you may come back as a dog in the family, or you may come back as some uh, cat or a, a rat or something. Prabhupada said that the man is very attached to his factory, in the next life he becomes a rat in the factory. And another man, he had a nice family, many children, big, hot, big home, a lot of money. Nick, he was very attached. Next slide, he took birth as a cobbler, repairing the shoes. And he would sit outside the house where he used to be the father, he used to be the head of the house. The next slide, he was sitting outside at the door of the house, repairing shoes. <laughs> And his children, who used to respect him, they came with their shoes and they would beat him with their shoes. 
This is what happens when we don't detach, if we don't prepare ourselves, if we don't get detached from the material situation. Of course, it seems a little difficult for us, you know. Oh, my children, oh, my grandchildren. But we cannot, we're going to have to die, we have to prepare to leave the body. And whatever we remember at the time of death, that will take us to the next life. Yam yam vapis maram bavam jajate ante kale varam tam tam vivaiti kondeya sadatat bhava bhavita. Whatever we remember, we have to train our mind to remember Krishna and it takes some practice. So the preparation is you, you give up the Grihastha Ashram and you enter into Vanaprastha Ashram, the next stage of life. And to do Vanaprastha life, we don't have to go to live in the forest like people used to do in the other ages, but we should go and live in the Krishna conscious centers. You don't have to go and live in the centers even, but you have to live near them so that you can come every day and do service there in the center. You don't have to leave your wife, you can keep the wife with you. The wife is still there. But, but material responsibilities are finished. Vanaprastha means retirement. You give up your material duties, you don't go to shop, you don't go to work anymore. You just work for Krishna. You take up spiritual work. I was talking another place about re retirement and some woman asked me, can women retire? Can women ever retire? Because well, ladies, you know, they have to cook and clean, do these kind of things. So I, I said, yes, you retire from having children. You don't give birth to children anymore. Right, would there any lady like to have children at the age of 50 or older than 50 give birth to a child? Terrible, huh? So, we retire from this that duty. And we take up spiritual duties, working for the service of Krishna. 
So Vana Prastha is essential, it's necessary, and you have to do it. We don't have to do all the things which are described here, eating only fruit, and not cutting the hair, and not cutting the nails, and living in the forest. You don't have to do that. I mean, they even say, if you, when you, when you get old, it's too difficult to do the duties, and when, it, if you get sick, then there's only one thing you have to do: fast. So you can begin to understand. Wow, there's really great austerities. But Krishna, the Krishna conscious program. We see, we're not practicing that type type of vanashram. We're practicing daily vanashram, which is in relation to devotional service. So we have to just simply retire from the material duties and take up spiritual activities. Spiritual activities are what goes on here every day, hearing and chanting, glorifying Krishna, doing service for the deities. When we start to do these things every day, then we start to change, our body becomes spiritualized. We don't feel any change, we think not just the same, we don't, but we don't notice the change, but actually we are changed. Just like you contact a fire, you become like fire. You put the metal bar in the fire, it becomes red hot like the fire. In the same way, we're serving Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Brahman. And everything, all the paraphernalia of Krishna, all those flowers, all the pots, all the cooking, all the paraphernalia which we use for the worship of Krishna, that is also Brahman. So we're associating all the time with Brahman, we also become Brahman, we also be, we give up our material identity. We, we can become liberated in this very lifetime. You don't have to wait for the next life. Ihayasya Hare Dashi Kamana Manasagira Nikilash Papi Babastas Jivan Mukta Sauchate. Jivan Mukta, liberated soul. Liberated soul is one who uses body, mind, and words in the service of Krishna. And Krishna is the Parabrahman. He is not just simply a little spark of the Brahman, but he is the Parabrahman. We are contacting that Supreme Brahman every moment of devotional service. <laughs> 
कृष्ण की ओर ब्रह्म होना बात पर ब्रह्म हो जा पर ब्रह्म समा संपर्क हो रही थी कि हर जीव की ओर में गरीब शुक्र को भी मौजूद है so we have to understand how this process of bhakti yoga works it depends on our absorption in devotion to krishna just like it's describing we were reading the verse how you have to give up the different elements of the material body that they have to enter into the brahman the material body is just made up of the elements. This is just the, the material body, these elements, the eight elements of material nature. We have to become detached from it. We have to give, uh, understand these elements of our material body are all part of the energy of the Supreme Lord Krishna. The body is not just a creation of our, our, in our intercourse with the material, with the, with, with the, with the wife that we get the child. But the body is the result of Krishna. Krishna creates the material elements which produce the body. And before the end of life we want to give up the attachment to this body, recognize all the elements of this body, that they are all Krishna's energy. And we get to this level simply by engaging in the devotional activities, beginning with hearing and chanting. We don't notice any big change, but actually we're changing. Our bodies are becoming spiritual. Prabhupada gives an example. He said, just like Prabhupada saw, he said, you sit in the airplane. He said, one minute the airplane's on the ground, next minute the airplane's way up in the sky, thousands of feet up over the city. You don't notice any big change, but the, it, you, you've changed. You're way up there in the sky. <laughs> So the same way we have to become detached, we have to feel the change in this material body. So, Prabh, the purport also talks about we want to have this perfect knowledge. This knowledge, how do we get this knowledge? It comes about simply by devotional activities. The gopis were not big scholars, they were not pundits, they didn't go and study in the, in the, and read all the scriptures. But the gopis, they were the greatest devotees. The people of Vrindavan, they're the greatest devotees. They, they were they're very simple village people, just simply taking care of the cows and doing farming. So we, we're not just trying to get knowledge, but
but we want to get spiritual knowledge, divya jnana, and that divya jnana comes by devotional activities. Krishna describes how it works in the Bhagavad Gita. He says, Tesham satata yukta nam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mahupayanti. To those who are constantly devoted to me and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. So that Vanaprastha Ashram is an opportunity for us to become more constantly devoted to Krishna. In Grihastha Ashram there are many distractions from Krishna. We often think of different things separate and we think they're separate from Krishna. But Vanaprastha is a chance to give ourselves more fully to Krishna. And sannyas is also there for people, not not officially, not externally, but internally, one can also be renounced. Because material life is temporary, we know we have to give up the body, we have to let go. If we don't let go, everything will still going to be taken from us at the time of death. So why wait for a cruel death to come and we're trying to fight death, we're trying to hold on, we're trying to stay here in this body. Why wait? For death to come and take everything away, better to let go ourselves. Just like Bali Maharaj, he surrendered everything to Lord Vamanadev because he thought, well, if he's God, he can take everything. Any better I give him? So the same way we're thinking, you know, I, I have my home, I have my family, I have my, my bank balance, all of these things, my credit cards, we want to keep all of these things. We can't take them with us at the time of death. So, Vanaprastha is a chance to start letting go of all of these attachments. And we let go of the material by holding on to Krishna. The more we hold on to Krishna, then the less we hold on to Maya. The Buddhists, the Buddhists, they talk about the man well, they tell the story about the man asked his guru that it's very difficult to get free of attachment. How I can get free of my attachments? So, 
So Guru said, just wait a little while, I will tell you. So after some time, the man heard this Guru calling out, help, let me go, let me go. So the, the, the man went running to see what was wrong with this Guru and he came, he found this Guru was holding on to a big tree and he was shouting, help, let me go, let me go. So the devotee, the young man came, he said to the Guru, he said, Guruji, what's wrong? He said, Guru said, I want to get, I want to let go of the tree. Uh, but the, so the, the, the young man said to the Guru, he said, but Guruji, you're holding on to the tree, you just have to let go. So then the Guru let go of the tree and he turned to his young man and he said, yes. He said, you were asking me how to get free of attachment. You're holding on. You just have to let go. So Buddhists, they, t they want to let go because they think everything is illusion, nothing is real. But Krishna Consciousness is a little different. We let go of the material to hold on to Krishna. Right. When we're always busy in Krishna Consciousness, there's no time for Maya. Right. We're always busy chanting, dancing, distributing books, distributing prasadam, cooking, working, serve. So many things to be done, so many rounds to chant, so many books to read. I have no time. That's very good. If we say, oh, I, I have nothing to do, then this is really bad. No, we have a lot to do, so much to do for the pleasure of Krishna. Okay, any question? Everybody believes, right? Everybody accepts. All ready to take one and press. <laughs> right? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Srimad Prabhupada ki.